Hi, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus, again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I was thinking this morning, a uh, wonderful subject, and it was the United States of America. I could have been persuaded a little bit on that thought because the television was on and I heard somebody say something about the United States of America. And they mentioned something about a group of people that we see on TV all the time. Many of them are in Congress. And they're constantly talking about destruction. They're talking about the division. They're talking about destroying and tearing down America for one reason or another. And to them, I'm sure, it's justified. But as I was thinking about that, I also thought about, what about the other side? If people are trying to destroy America, I wonder why. They must be, satis not be, they must not be satisfied, or they got some other agenda. So I thought about uh, the people who have been living in America. We might call ourselves Republicans and Democrats. We might call ourselves conservatives or liberals or black and white or men or women. All of these things do exist. But at the same time, in the same areas that I just mentioned, there are things that are coming amongst us. We need food, clothing, shelter, education, health care, transportation, and all of the things that exist. And we have determined, that people have determined, are essential one way or another for the enjoyment of this life. Then any of us who might have a desire for it should have access to it. So I'm thinking about that. That seems to be a wonderful thing. United States of America, pain and suffering, lying and cheating, haves and have-nots. Then I thought about what it would be like to have, what it would be like to experience peace. And that would be set on the hill of uh, justice. Thought about being free, know who you are, not relying on any man to tell you whether to go or come, but res Expecting a power that you can't see that is responsible for all those other things that you know humankind had nothing to do with. So I'm thinking about the United States of America. What would be beautiful? Uh, heaven, paradise would be beautiful, but we haven't that, so look like we could be able to come as close to that as we possibly can, especially since we have a system of government that allows you to change when things aren't working for you. Then I thought about, well, what kind of changes would we need? I thought about, well, people are jealous about some people being lazy. So I say it would be probably well if you could have everybody engaged in the employment fields. Everybody got a job or a career. And there's nothing so magnificent as having a career that you chose, one that you got your greatest pleasure, your greatest joy from. I'm thinking about a work in America. A work in America. Working means whatever it is you're doing. If you're a mother staying at home, feeding your babies and kids, that's a job. It's life, but it's a job. If you're uh, taking care of somebody uh, that uh, needs to, to be taken care of, that's a job, my friends. And if you love doing it, it's a wonderful career. So my idea is to America, let us try to save America rather than split America up as some are trying to do. Let us not just try to hold on to America as we have understood America to be all of our lives. Because if we did that, we'll accept the fact that it is that America that has created this uh, other side here that wants to destroy. But where is that part of America that wants to create, that wants to go, not just make America beautiful in its infrastructure, but making sure that everybody has a career, a career that's so v versatile that, that uh, people would have an abundance of goods and services that no one would ever have to be left out of anything that they need, want, or desire. Why can't we make sure that these things exist? Making sure that you got all of those benefits so you can live in peace, be prosperous, and have joy and your dreams come true. Why don't we do that? Now, there would have to be some changes made to adjust in an, uh, to an economy or system like that, especially since we got one right now where things are changing and going all kinds of ways. Now, I bring that to you, ladies and gentlemen, because I know that it can happen. I've already envisioned it myself, but my envisioning doesn't mean anything beyond me. and allows me to stand here and challenge you to say, think about it too. And if you can, let us say, let us change our mood. Let us change our precept of what America can be and turn America to what we want it to be. What is it that we want it to be? We want it to be a shining state within the history of humans. And we want it to be beautiful. We want, when people think about paradise, to look over here.
And it's not just the beautiful buildings, it's not just the beautiful streets, it's not just that you got nice houses and you got the education system, but you got love in your heart that those who want to come and accomplish things like we have by learning the ways of America, we only just telling you what we've understood God to be, a bringing together, creator, a unifier, God, the giver of love, teaching us how to love, and as we have learned how to love and change America and make it a great place to be, you can see the fun we have, you know what, we don't even need money, but but if we wanted to use money, we would not allow money to destroy us and split us up and make somebody bigger or something less. No, there are no superior people here. There's one superior power, and that's God. Righteousness and love. And everybody just fill yourself up with that and become an embodiment of that. And we'll be all right. Think about it, ladies and gentlemen. The United States of America. Let's change that, baby. Let's save America by saving one another and not letting anything destroy us. Eddie Marcus speaking to you. Until next time, saying goodbye for now.